All right, uh, geometry students, last video for the Venn diagrams. So um, we're going to look at some of these sets and we're going to answer some questions here. Okay, so they've already filled out the Venn diagram for us. This is a two, um, two circle Venn diagram. You can have three like we saw before, but um, this is going to be a two circle. So what we have to do is we have to look at um, this set of numbers. These are all just different sets or different numbers that have been placed in this diagram. So you can see that all of these numbers here belong to set A. All of these numbers here in this circle B belong to set B. And then you have some numbers out here that don't belong to set A or B. Okay. And so we just have to answer some of these questions. Um, just answering like which numbers um, maybe let's say belong to set A, you know, or which numbers belong to everything but um, B or something like that. So let's just look at this. So I actually kind of alluded to that here. So B complement means find the numbers that are not in B. So just exclude all the numbers that you see in the circle B. So we're just going to write out all these numbers that are not in the circle B. So, um, and you don't have to do it in numerical order. We can just, I can just write them maybe as I see them, because huh? I don't think numerical order might be a pain. But, um, but anyway, so let's look at all these numbers. Just write them out. So 10, 13, 2, and 1, 50, 8, 28, okay, and then these numbers over here, 15, 6, and 21. These are all of the numbers, and you can put them in little, these are little uh, swirly brackets here, okay? That just means that these are the numbers in this set, okay? And I separate those numbers with commas, okay? So that's it. Um, not too bad. So now we can look at this one. This is an intersection because that little thing is down. So this is an intersection. Okay. So you're trying to figure out where they intersect. Where do these two sets that they're talking about intersect? So not A intersecting with B. So everything that's not A that intersects with B. Okay, so you can kind of see this. This is a little bit tricky, but it's it's everything that's in, um, it's basically saying in B, but not A. So these are the numbers right here that are in B. Okay, these are, these are all the ones that are in B right here. Let's just, I'll just shade it uh, lightly. So everything that's in blue here is what's in set B, okay? And then if I were to shade not A, it would be everything outside of this, including what's in um, in this circle, this part of the circle B right here, everything that's not A, okay? If that helps you to see that. So where do those colors intersect? You can see that the red and the blue are right in here. This whole section right in here. Okay. So we're just going to write these four numbers in. These are actually good, easier to put in numerical order. So I'm going to put three, put my little brackets here and put three comma, nine comma, 22 comma, 35. And that's it. Those are the only numbers that are in the intersection of B, so that's the blue blue circle right here, B, and not A, okay? And if you need to shade these, that's fine too. This is saying um, A or B, that's what this is saying. This is the union, okay? So again, this is an or statement, or intersection's an and statement, okay? So, um, Union is or, so you're saying A or B. Which one? Which numbers are in A or B? So just look at circle A, write all those numbers down, and in circle B, write all those numbers down. But you're just not going to write um, 
the numbers twice, basically that where they're intersected here. So we can just write out all the numbers that are in these two circles together. That's what they're asking for. So, and again, I'll, I'll try to do numerical order on this one. So one, and then three. Uh, seven looks like it's next. Seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and then we've got um, 12 and 13. And then it looks like after that, um, we've got 22, 30, 35, and 50. Those are all the numbers that are in the circle, either circle A or B. Okay, so now let's look at this one, next one. Hopefully this is uh, becoming easier for you. <laughs> so on this one, it's kind of like the one before, but it's the complement of it. So it's saying A or B, which ones are in A or B? Well, you can kind of see all of these are in A or B, but then it says it's the complement of that. So it's actually saying which ones are not in A or B. So if you look here, which ones are not in circles A or B? You can kind of see that outside of the circles A or B, you've got July and September. So those are the two that are not, that's what this little symbol means, remember it's complement, it means not in A or B. So you would say July and September. Okay, July, September, those are the ones that are not in A or B. This one's saying the intersection of A and B. So we're looking at where these two circles intersect. So look right here. They intersect right here, June and May. That one's nice. So June and May are the intersection of A and B, circles A and B. And then this one just says A. Give me all the months that are in circle A. So just write these down. January, March, June, May. So January, March. Um, I'll do May and then June, being as that's technically the right order there. <laughs> okay, so that's that, those are the answers for those. Okay, so you can kind of get the hang of that. Um, try to do either this one or this one on your own, okay? And just remember that um, when the little symbol is upside down like that, that means it's an and. So that means intersect. Where do they intersect? Okay, uh, so it's called intersection, but it's an and statement. So it's saying um, not in A and not in B. Okay, where do you see uh, letters, in this case, this is letters, where do you see letters that are not in A and not in B? Okay, so maybe you can shade everything that's not in A first, then shade everything that's not in B, and then see where those colors intersect. On this one, just give me all the letters that are not in A. And then this one would be A or not B, okay? And then down here, if you wanna try this one, so just pick either or. Um, if you wanna try this one instead of the letters, you can. And again, this just means um, intersection, so A and not B. So again, if you wanna shade these and figure that out, you can. This is everything that's in set B. And this is not A or B. So not A or in B.